you are a real estate agent or looking to get into real estate and the year is 2021, one thing that Lori and I know works is video marketing and we're gonna tell you our success and how video marketing is a must have in our real estate business, especially 2021 and on. It's Lori here from Just Finest Agents, and we're one of your top video marketing experts here for real estate agents in 2021. So make sure you hit that subscribe button or that bell as we put a ton of new content out this year all about video marketing and how to grow your business. Guys, reach out. We are here for new agents. If you're an established agent and you are struggling to get your business off the ground, we love content video marketing. So reach out, 719-639-3393, and we'd love to help you generate business for your business here in real estate. Hey agents, so it's Lori and Kayleen here today, and today we're gonna to talk about video marketing, and maybe your question is, how does it get you leads? So, <laughs> I wasn't ready. I was just listening to her. So, um, YouTube is our preferred platform, although there's many platforms out there. And so, I believe, and what we found effective is that you have to know your audience on these platforms and know what gets you into their algorithms to make your posts go viral or trend or actually be effective. Um, the other part to that is knowing what content people want to hear about. They don't want to hear about what an appraisal gap is. They don't want to hear about all these technical things. So, um, you know, maybe you're highlighting your listings and showing that you're an active realtor, but what's the right platform to be doing that in? Right. And so not only platform, but I think if you're looking as a real estate agent, if you're not using video marketing, that's always something we said. We never knew what platform we want, wanted to use it on or specifically. We've kind of developed that as we've um, yeah, we've grown tried as about agents. every platform I think there is out there. But we always knew in like 2020, 2021, you have to be on video. You mm -hmm. have to be out there. So whether you're doing HomeBot and you're popping on HomeBot on video, you're they're using boom, way what is more that like boom. boom boom town boom boom i don't know boom boom bomb 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 <laughs> <laughs> bomb bomb um but so like we'll hop on and do a video on um Hongbot instead of just writing someone an email like no one reads emails mm -hmm. anymore i think that's going to become more and more consistent yeah um it's fine to stay on top of your minds through email but i feel like they have to start to know who you are and just be yourself well and the reality is is that because we have that technology i do think people kind of expect um, a more personalized message. They don't want just a generic text out there or something. So it's an easy way to make that happen. It's so much easier yeah. for me to do a voice message and send it to someone, but the downfall is it goes away after they listen to that. And right. so it just kind of depends on what you're doing, who you're talking to, do they, you want that to reflect back on um, you know, it's kind of the same thing we were doing a ton on Instagram and Facebook. Well, stories go away. That's the perfect place though for us to put, maybe highlight a listing that we have, highlight that we right. got something under contract because it's there. Our professional it Stays side. people, yeah, it stays at the top of people's mind, but they don't need to scroll back through our um, profile and see all these houses we had under contract. Right. And so, um, you know, maybe stories or something that is content that goes away, that's the perfect time to highlight and show that you're b busy and kind of, I don't know, what's the reason behind that? To just show that we're active and that we're actually getting real estate under contract, not just doing videos. So. Right. And so I also think that when you're, you know, you think of how many realtors are in your city, right? I know here where we're at, there's probably four or 5,000 realtors. And so we're competing against all of them for our limited market right now. And so if you're just doing, uh, you know, Facebook ads or just posting pictures of houses on whatever, Instagram, LinkedIn, I don't know where you're posting them all from, but they don't know who you are. There could be any realtor that's posting a picture of a house. Like it is not establishing you. Like we will post pictures like on our page of like when we get under contract, just so like Kaylee know they know that we're generating business or professional. We know what we're doing. Um, we're established like that type of thing. But if you're doing those for ads and no one is knows who you are, like Joe Schmo down the street could be doing the same ad mm -hmm. and they have no idea. They, the people who are looking at your ad don't care. They just see a house and I'm like, Oh, I like that house. 
and you know that you might get that little bit of instant them clicking on it but mm -hmm. you're still not establishing your brand yeah it what i think ads do is keep you at the top of people's minds if they see you over and over we've done um ads and targeting ads for over a year a year and a half and at the very beginning we were getting legitimate leads i don't think that there was as many people doing it and so we were getting actual viable information from clients like they were clicking on there they gave us an actual email they gave us an actual phone number and then about six months ago i was telling lori like yes we're still getting these leads but they're wrong phone numbers they emails bounce right. back like we're just spinning our wheels and i think what it was is that there were so many people at that point doing it um you know clients were getting maybe irritated um, with all this spam and so they started putting in information that wasn't actually usable so we had to pivot our yeah. word and yeah. use them in a different way we still do ads but it's just more for keeping at the top of our clients minds that we are hello we're still here <laughs> we're doing real estate yeah. um but it's not so much those homes lists or trying to get we did get listings off of some of our ads and whatnot but it it became ineffective right like for the long run, it wasn't establishing who we were. Um, you know, with the people that click on it and they, you know, I guess if you're a used car salesman, I'm sorry, but realtors, like we have the same reputation as used car salesmen. As soon as you answer the phone and say, or call someone and say, this is Lori with so-and-so <laughs> real estate, <laughs> click, hang up. Like, I don't want you to sell me anything. Yeah. Like I call you and I need you. And so that's what we love about, you know, we talked about video marketing, but on YouTube, and they already know you. I think it's, we talk about that all the time in our videos. And if you are stuck, we're expanding to other markets. But we people call me. I had a person call me. My husband was laughing at it because he called me and he's like, "Is this Lori? Is this really you?" And I was like, "Yeah, it's really me. Live in my little house with my three kids." But you know, it really is us, and they know us. And so I think we had one client, one client who left because his wife didn't want us working with us. Yeah. But um, for the most part, they call and they stick with us. Well, and I think that kind of is the difference between short content and long content. So long content does take more time to do, but what I love about it is it's there forever. It doesn't go away. So we make videos on YouTube. They're there forever. Um, there's definitely a science to how you put the video out. It's just not rambling. There's a lot more to it than that, but you definitely, to get in the analytics you want, longer stories you want more meat in there but what that um gives the opportunity for us is for people to get to know us without us actually having conversation until right. they reach out to us and what i do love about youtube as well it's a search engine right so people are going yeah. there to search um, they're purposely going there to look for the content you're putting out if you do it the right way. And I'm not going to compete with, you know, like our business isn't going to pop up in the first, you know, SEO ranking of Google. Though, like if you're doing Google, it's going to be all like, like you said, the Zillow's, the Realtor.com's, the Remax, the whatever, if they're searching for homes in the area. But guess who's going to pop up? You know how you search in Google and like three you down, you see the videos. You know, eventually, as we start gaining momentum, we can compete in that arena. And mm -hmm. so that's, what we, so I'm going to compete on the first pages of uh, Google searches as well, because eventually those we videos video. pop up and you know they're pulling right from YouTube, cause it's the same platform. So um, great content to use video marketing. So what other, um, you know, LinkedIn, I guess, is another platform. It's definitely more for a professional, sometimes we'll go over there um, if we're having a hard time tracking somebody down, like everybody's contact information is out there. What I don't love about LinkedIn is I feel like I get spammed a lot on there. Like, um, you know, you can do ads, you can yeah. kind of do the same thing as maybe Instagram on there, just showing who you are. Maybe it's a good way, you know, depending on your area, if you have some large corporations coming, great way to reach yeah. out. Amazon was coming. Um, to Colorado Springs and I did get a connection through Amazon on there by just doing some research. So I feel like it's a good way to, you know, you want a presence on there, but I didn't find it real effective yeah. to generate leads. Yeah. So we just want to tell you like, you know, if you're not using video marketing, you really need to dabble in it, start, reach out, give us a call. We'll help you with video marketing. Um, and it is such a untapped market that you need to be using in your real estate business. So give us a call if you want any help at all with us that answers our phone. We're pretty real, genuine people. So 719-639-3393 and let's help grow your real estate business.